Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Wizard C2 Pro with the Nietzsche custom LED inside the headlight. This is a special batch of LEDs that come from Killzone flashlights that are a temperature rating of 3000K as opposed to 4500K, meaning that this is a much warmer type of CRI, high CRI type of LED emitter. I want to thank Jody from Killzone Flashlights for sending this out for review. Some of the specifications of the Wizard C2 Pro are length is going to be 112 millimeters, diameter is 33 millimeters, weight without the battery is 65 grams, and with the included proprietary battery is 115 grams. The ingress protection is going to be IP68, and there's a submersion rating for about 10 meters for approximately 5 hours, and an impact resistant rating for 10 meters. The light features several different types of modes broken into four categories. We'll start with the Firefly 1 mode, and that's going to be for 0.1 lumens, and that's going to run for approximately 200 days. There's a Firefly 2 mode, and that runs for approximately 1 lumen at about a run time for 40 days approximately. There's a Firefly 3 mode, and that runs for 4.6 lumens, and that'll run for 12 days approximately. Next up is the main section of outputs. They start with main one, and that's going to be 34 lumens, and that runs for about 43 hours. There's a main two, which is 90 lumens, and that's going to be 16 hours of runtime approximately. And then there is a main three, which is a 250 lumen output, and that runs for approximately six hours and 40 minutes. The next stage is going to be turbo modes. There's a turbo one and two mode. The turbo one is going to be 750 lumens at around three hours of runtime, and then drops after five minutes of being on to 440 lumens. Now this is due to the internal circuitry, which prevents overheating at about plus 58 degrees Celsius. Of course, environmental conditions will change when that kicks in whether you're out in a cold winter or in a hot, humid summer environment. Next up is the Turbo 2, which is 1600 lumens, and that's going to be for running for about 2 hours and 55 minutes. And that'll step down to 440 lumens after 1 minute of runtime. The light does feature short circuitry protection with the charging, proprietary charging cable, and also discharge protection as well. We also have the active real-time temperature control, which we mentioned before, which prevents heating above plus 58 degrees Celsius. The light also features a glass and TR lens, and it's got anti-reflective coating on it as well. Here on the table, we have the box, the manual, the included holster, the proprietary charging cable, USB cable here. We have the included extra spare O-rings along with the pocket clip, the headband and the mounting for the headband and the light itself here with the 18650 battery already inside of it. And that is what we get in the box. We can look at the box here on 360. We have the front here, the side and the other side of the specifications, the bottom and the top. So this box says it comes with the 4500 Kelvin temperature rated Nietzsche version. We have a special version, which is a 3000 Kelvin temperature rated version from Killzone Flashlights. So I want to point that out, even though the box does say 4500K. So we have a special unique type of emitter batches here. So we can see the front here where we have the TR optic inside, along with the glass coated lens of AR reflective coating. A nice, strong, robust lens there, and it's fully protected with this nice bezel in the front. We have some heat sinking fins here, although there's only two of them. And we have the yellow E-switch here, and this does glow red when you push it. And then it also glows green when it's on to indicate that it's working. We also have the tail cap here, which would unscrew about a quarter turn to prevent the light from turning on. That is the physical lockout method to keep keeping the light from turning on and also how you would charge the light according to the instructions. So the way it works is you would 
take it from the on position and turn it a quarter turn off and then plug in the charging cable proprietary one down here and you would be able to charge your battery inside so let's keep that back on we have the top here which has the literature the sides here which is nice smooth this is a smooth matte type of uh, anodization on the aluminum and it's a nice feeling premium feeling in my opinion we have the armor tech logo on the back here and the instructions for the usb c or usb rather charging so let's go ahead and unscrew this real quick and we can see that this is going to have two o-rings in it we have the first one here and a second one here and then we have these threads here which are greased up and they appear to be square cut threads we have a nice tail cap with a strong type of spring in there a very strong one compared to some of the other ones i've seen and it's quite thick as well and it also has the magnet in the base we have the army tech branded lithium ion battery i do suppose that you can also use other type of flat cell type batteries in here and this one's rated for 13 watt hours 3.7 volts 3500 milliamp hours of runtime and it has a discharge rate of over 10 amps at least and that's the internals there let's go ahead and put the battery back in and take a look at the ui system now there's a way to get into the advanced ui uh, i'm already in the advanced ui but the way you would do it is you keep this a quarter turn off and you hold down this button and then you turn the the tail into the on position and it should turn on from the off position and it will get you into the advanced modes the difference being is that there's a few modes that you can't access from the non-advanced mode mainly the turbo 2 i believe so we have this on and it does have memory mode for which mode you were on last i think we we're in firefly mode here so to get to firefly mode simply hold down on the yellow and it'll come up in the lowest mode here and then to scroll you just simply hold down and it's going to scroll through the other modes here it has three different modes and you can see that on the camera so very basic from the on position or off you can double click and you can get to the main section of le of run times and you can hold down and then scroll to the three different modes in main mode or if it's say on and low mode and you double click you'll get to main mode as well so you can do it from the on position as well so that is our main modes and scrolling through it again you hold down so pretty straightforward ui to access the turbo you're going to click three times fast one two three and now we are in turbo section and then you simply again hold down on the button and it'll scroll through the turbo one and turbo two modes just be aware this will get really hot on here and that you can also start fires with this type of light depending on the material you have the light facing at turn it off just click once to access the strobe modes you click four times and then hold down and scroll through the strobe mode so one two three four so we have the different strobe modes we're going to hold down hold down And we have different outputs as well for the strobe modes. So I do like the strobe modes personally. They remind me of like a car light blinking. And to get out, you push once. You push it again, you turn it on. It has a memory mode of which section mode you left on and the output, which I do like with the Wizard Pro here. So I typically like to keep mine in the Firefly mode since I find that's a very useful one, especially the 0 0.1 lumen output. So that is the UI mode and method of operation for the light. I'm going to go ahead and get some nighttime beam shots here on the table and see what we have for a measurement. Okay, we're back. We're measuring with the Opal Light Master Pro here on the table. And we're shooting at an aperture of 5.0, 24 frames per second, a shutter speed of 1 50th or close to 1 48th. And then we have a white balance of 5,000K. ISO is very low at 160, so the light sensitivity won't be as harsh or sensitive. And we have a Panasonic GH2 with a 14 to 45 millimeter lens here. 
Now let's go ahead and look at the Lux rating. And we have the CCT rating here also. And we have the CR rating here. And we're in the Firefly mode. And we're about maybe half a foot off away from the sensor right now. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in a little bit closer, maybe like four inches away, just to capture some information here. So at about four inches away, we're about 17 or 15 lux approximately. And the CCT is right about on par for 30 or 3000 K temperature rated. And we can see the CR rating is popping up there now about 96, 95. So that's good news. Let's go to the BBL chart real quick. Take a look. This appears to be almost at the line on the BBL chart, which is good between yellow and orange. Let's go back to our measuring here and let's bump this up to and raise it up above maybe about foot here. We're in Firefly 2 mode and we're still getting a Lux reading at about 40 Lux. This is again about a foot, foot and a half away from the sensor and still the same CCT, same CR rating. Let's go to the top of the list for the Firefly 3 here and we're at 200 lux approximately again same cct same cri let's go ahead and double click and we'll go to the lowest section of the mains here and that's going to be about a thousand lux same cct same cri let's scroll up to the middle section of the main we're at about 3500 lux same cct same cri rating and then we're going to go on the top end of the main mode section so that's about 9300 lux or so again same cct same cri rating let's double click and go to our turbo modes here turn that off and or rather three clicks here one two three and we'll go to the lower section of turbo turbo one again same cct approximately 2300 lux or 20, uh, 23,688 lux. I always get that confused with the reading of the numbers. And the CR rating is about the same. Again, we're about a foot off the table. Let's scroll up to the Turbo 2 mode. And once again, this cannot read the measurements at the Turbo 2, which we kind of expected at 1,600 lumens approximately. It's measuring at least approximately above 50,000 lux. So, and let's turn that down. And let's turn this on back onto the fire follow mode here. So that's the measurement rating for the Nietzsche emitter inside of it. And let's go ahead and just see the beam shots here real quick. Okay, we're at the lowest section. We're about maybe a foot off the table on an angle. I'm going to hold it up. And let's go to Firefly 2. Firefly 3. It's a nice diffuse beam, no artifacts inside of it, so as much as I expected with a honeycomb TR reflective optic inside. Let's double click to get to the main modes again. We're in the lowest main mode, uh, main number two, and then main number three. And then let's triple click to get to the turbo, one, two, three. And we're going to go to the, low, uh, the lowest point of the turbo, so it gets really nice and bright. Everything kind of washes out here. And let's go to Turbo 2, which just kind of blinds out the camera. So that's why we're at 160 ISO here to kind of reduce the light sensitivity. So definitely a nice pattern of choice and definitely a good warm tint that I personally like with my emitters. Here we can see the Army Tech being charged via the USB 1.20 amps into the battery here we unscrew the tail cap about a quarter turn as per the instructions in the manual and it's got a current of 1.2 amps and a voltage of 5.05 volts or thereabouts approximately going into the battery here so we have the led here it's red and this will turn green when it's fully charged if it's not unscrewed the quarter turn and this will blink red telling you to unscrew the battery and disconnect it from the main light here. Overall, the Wizard C2 Pro is a nice headlamp. It features a nice warm 3000K Nietzsche light on it with its honeycomb TRR optic and the AR coated glass lens. It makes for a nice user experience in my opinion. I do prefer warmer tints, some may not, some do. This one hits that sweet spot being at 3000K. 4500K is also a nice spot. A little bit more on the white side for me personally, but I like my headlamps, at least the closed up 
diffused ones to be a little bit on the warmer side personally and this army tech fits the bill in my opinion i like that it comes with an included 18650 battery a proprietary usb charging system that is interesting in that you have to quarter turn the tail cap to lock it out and then you can charge the battery which is a good safety protocol in my opinion the light feels and looks premium with the anodized aluminum here and the matte finish the ui system is an excellent system that breaks up all the different sections in different areas so you don't accidentally click away into like a strobe mode when you're trying to use flashlight mode or the firefly mode and i do like the 0.1 lumens on the firefly one mode so that is very useful the button is nice and tactile feeling it does glow a different color depending on the use it'll blink green when it's in use and when you push the button down it'll look red to show that you're actually actually activating the e-switch there Overall, I definitely would recommend something like this for hiking, camping, and emergency use. I got this from Jody from Killzone Flashlights. I'm an affiliate there, and I'll have an affiliate link for this if you're interested in looking at this particular model. It's a special run that he has on the website, so they have a bunch of 3000K temperature rated Nietzsche CRI options there. You probably could get a standard option with the other emitters as well. But that's something that's unique to Killzone Flashlights, and I recommend you check it out if you're into this type of warm tint and color, along with the high CRI option. Overall, I'm very impressed with this. This is my first Army Tech product. I haven't had any in the past, so I do like the quality and fit and finish. Time will tell to see how long this holds up in my uses. I can be using this in probably my work day-to-day -day activities, camping, and even in rescue situations. That's all I have to say about the Army Tech Wizard C2 Pro. Once again, thank you to Jody for sending this out for review. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your day.